In the last two years, we have treated two patients with an endangered spinal cord and paralysis. The first was a 16-year-old boy and the second was a 68-year-old woman. Both had an uncommon disease that affected their spinal cord and their spines and that finally induced to a spinal collapse. Uh, both patients needed an emergency uh, treatment as a temporary solution, but they also need a permanent solution. However, because of the uniqueness of their diseases and the uniqueness of their uh, anatomy, a permanent solution was uh, uh, not really reliable within the conventional methods. That's why we were thinking about the patient-specific implant and a patient-specific approach. However, surgeons never use or not commonly use a patient-specific implant because there are a lot of legal issues and regulatory uh, challenges still needed to be overcome. However, our patients didn't have any other options, so we assembled a team, a multidisciplinary team of in-house experts, which consists of surgeons, but also engineers and scientists that together wanted to overcome all the legal issues and create a safe implant procedure. We read the European medical device regulations and following that regulations we made a technical file. The technical file consisted of a, a patient file, but also the implant rationale, the risk assessment and for instance all the um, safety procedures like uh, biomechanical compression test and uh, computer analysis and ultimately we also did cadaveric tests. Finally, when the implant was approved and implanted, the procedure went really great. And we think one of the th uh, reasons it went that uh, so great is that we used experts in-house. All the meetings went really fast and all the feedback led to really fast and quick uh, results in uh, implant design and also in implant changes. Uh, we had six months for the first procedure but because during the first procedure we made a uh, blueprint uh, that we could also use for future cases, for the second case we only needed six weeks to work uh, for the implant. Uh, the second implantation went also really uh, great and uh, ultimately we think that uh, with the use of this blueprint and with the uh, assembly of a, uh, an expert group in-house, uh, it could be really beneficial to treat patients with a patient-specific implant, especially when there are no other options left. And we encourage other surgeons and also other hospitals to use our blueprint and our techniques to treat patients.